What's up, fishy friends? Welcome to Tim School Fishing Classes in Session. Today, I want to take a look at a new one from Marbles. This is the Marbles Exhibition Grade Brown Checkered Barlow. So, let's get this camera spun around and take a closer look. All right, this is a new series from Marbles. Uh, this is what they call their exhibition grade brown checkered bone series. Uh, as far as I know, they have not released all of the knives that are going to be in this series. I think there's about four or five. This one is the Barlow. If you watch my channel at all, you know that I'm a fan of jack knives where the blade extends from the same side and has usually two or fewer blades. So this is Barlow, probably my favorite pattern. So it comes in this awesome cigar style box. On the front, it says Marbles Exhibition Grade, Collector's Edition Pocket Knives. On the back, Marbles for every hour in the open. It has a sticker here with the model number MR684. On the back, for every hour in the open and the sides just look like a cigar box. Actually, it looks like a wooden box. They, they did a really good job on this box. I like this cigar style box. When you open it up, it says Marbles Exhibition Grade. It's got this nice felt padded liner. It does come in a plastic bag, but I've already taken that off. So, let's have a look at this thing. All right, so here you go. This is brown checkered bone. Our bolster here is nickel silver. We have nickel silver pins and a nickel silver bullet shield. We've got stainless steel springs and brass liners. I really like this, this belt or sash of smooth bone going across this jigged bone. I like the jigging on this. It looks very good. So, Nickel silver bolster, we have a pinched bolster that has two threads. The threads on there are very clean and precise. And on the other side as well, also very clean and precise. The transition from the bolster to the bone has no gapping and it's very smooth. The pins in the shield are very smooth. This pin might be a little bit proud, but it's not too bad. On the back side, no gapping between the bolster and the bone. No proud pins. On the back we might have a little bit of gapping, but everything else looks clean. There's no stepping. It's very flush. Good spring termination there. It's clean and smooth. On our main blade we've got a long match strike pull. Our main blade is a clip point, and the pull on that blade is about a five. On the blade, we have marbles, quality knives etched on there. And on the tang, it says marbles. On the other side of the tang, MR684, which is the model number. The edge grind is very good. Edge grind on that other side is also very clean and even. Nice sharp tip there. They even did a good job on the grind at the tip. Nice wedge on that clip point blade. Looks really good. It's got a mirror polish finish. And you guys know that a mirror polish finish is a fingerprint magnet. We've got 440 steel on this. It's not really flush at the half stop. It is flush at the fully deployed position with a decent snap. The walk is very smooth and clean. It's, there's no grittiness at all. I haven't flushed this out. I haven't flushed the pivot or cleaned it yet, which is a good idea you should do with all your new knives. A lot of times there's some grit or some junk left over from the machining process. But on this one, the walk is very smooth. The talk is a little bit lazy on that. It doesn't really snap with authority or conviction. You can see that. 
It's not bad though. On the other side we have just a regular nail nick match strike pull and I have just cut my fingernails. The pull on that little pin blade is definitely stronger than on the main clip point blade. I would say this pin blade is probably about a six. Edge grind is perfect. And on the other side the edge grind also looks very good. Nice and even. Again, we've, we're not flush at the half stop. Good snap. We are flush at the fully deployed position. The walk on this pen blade is very smooth. And that one's a little more snappy. That one's not quite as lazy as the main blade. Look at that jigging. That is just beautiful outstanding and I love that shield that bullet shield that says marbles in it here you can get a close look at it there's that gapping I was talking about see that the main blade is off center a little it doesn't look like it's like we have any rubbing going on. It doesn't look like it's completely up against the liner, but it is off center a little bit. I wonder. I mean, the blade is straight. It's not warped to one side. It's just a little off center. I can probably fix that. The secondary pen blade is perfectly centered. Beautiful piece. I really like this. I like that, um, you know, it's a nod to the Remington knives, which are supremely popular still to this day. I do wish that we didn't have that gapping there. I mean, but I, I think this knife was $22, maybe, maybe a little more, somewhere between $20 and $25. So I'm willing to forgive that gapping and that blade centering and it's a little bit lazy on the main blade but look for between 20 and 25 dollars this is a great collector piece i'm not going to use this knife this knife will probably never cut anything i have my knives that i carry and use right over here on my desk there's 10 or 12 of them and then I have my beater knives that I use and abuse. But most of my other knives are collector pieces. So I do wish, I mean, if this was a user, it wouldn't bother me at all. But this is not a user. This is a collector piece for me. I mean, it's beautiful. The, the jigging on that bone, the color of that bone is excellent and I really like that. Overall, I'm definitely happy with this knife and I'm certainly gonna look into purchasing some more from this series. Initially, I thought that I wanted to get the whole series. I don't know if I'll get the whole series. I probably will, just because it's, I mean, I love that bone and that shield is just fantastic. So I just wanted to share that with you today. That is the Marbles Exhibition Grade Brown Checkered Bone Barlow. I got this from Chicago Knife Works. I will link their website in the description below if you wanna go check it out. As always, I appreciate you guys for watching. I appreciate you giving me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment uh, down in the comments. I enjoy interacting with you guys. If you're not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. Just click on my face right over there. That'll be on the end screen. That's it for this episode of Tim's School of Fish, boys and girls. Class dismissed.